Hi, I'm Billy D. Billy, and welcome to my video channel here on YouTube. Just a reminder before I get to today's commentary, don't forget after you watch this video or any of the videos you might watch in the archives, you can make comments afterwards. Now stay on topic, don't get into name calling. Uh, I found out most of the time when people get into name calling, uh, they don't have a good argument for their position or they are not confident in their position. But anyway, feel free to express yourself. If you agree with me, go ahead and express that. If you disagree with me and you think I'm out to lunch, go ahead and say that. Okay. Shirley Dobson said, says she believes Thursday's, tomorrow's, National Day of Prayer will be a valley forge moment for people of faith. Dobson, who chairs the National Day of Prayer Task Force, told CBN News that a judge ordering the annual event, declaring the annual event unconstitutional, should prompt Americans to cry out to God as George Washington is said to have done for his suffering army. In an interview with the Reverend Pat Robertson, she said, if the prayer covering is allowed to be taken off of our nation, God help us. Robertson said atheists should take away from us who do believe our right to worship God. President Barack Obama is appealing the ruling and has proclaimed tomorrow the National Day of Prayer. Here's a news item that is related to that from South Carolina. South Carolina legislatures, South Carolina's legislature wants to establish a state day of prayer in what could be the first state backlash against a federal judge's ruling that the National Day National Prayer Day is unconstitutional. The bill sponsor says last month's ruling on the National Day of Prayer is an assault on religion and he wants a state day in place in case the Obama administration's appeal is eventually lost. His bill would insert a single sentence into state law, setting that day as the first Thursday in May, same as the National Prayer Day. Okay, let me make it clear as I have written on my blog, I believe the ruling by this judge was wrong, and I believe it goes against American law, and it's wrong for many different reasons. However, I think people of faith are losing their focus and missing something key here. Why do we depend on government to give us permission to worship our God? No matter what this judge or any other judge rules or any laws our government passes or no, or no matter what bills the president signs into law, I am going to pray. And I believe many of you are. And I'm going to worship my Savior. And many of you are going to do the same, I know. People in nations where it is against the law to worship God have been praying for years. We also have better pray every day for our nation, not just on the National Day of Prayer. Far as this ruling showing how our nation is in trouble, America was in trouble way before this judge did what she did. The breakdown of the family, abortion on demand, child abuse, crime including gang related crime going on are just some of the things that should show us that America is in trouble. The government schools teaching whatever feels good to you is okay and it's up to you, up to each soul to decide what is right and wrong. Oh yeah, America is in trouble and needs prayer. 
We also need leaders and preachers who aren't afraid to call America to repentance. That is the way a spiritual change and a true spiritual revival in our nation will start. Let's pray for that to happen because it is the only hope for America. And we don't just have to pray that today on the National Day, or pray that tomorrow on the National Day of Prayer. We can pray that every, any day at any time. Well, thanks for watching this video. Until next time, I'm Billy. I'll see you.